From the Field Bus Foundation Training Center at Lee College, Control in the Field, Part 2. Sponsored by Asbill, Andresen Hauser, Yokogawa, and other Foundation members. So now we're actually running on uh, control within and the device. And uh, no big jumps, no big anything happening here, just nice smooth transition from one method to the other. So then I'll demonstrate one more item to you, which is one of the other advantages here, which is just for fun, and you can leave this screen up. I'll walk behind our unit here, and I'm going to kill your host system. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> which is done very simply in the system I have. Which I'll be able to see here from and this window. Let's confirm that I've, we you know, we're seeing flags all over the place. This, of course, would be a great consternation to the operators, you know, seeing this kind of flagging and all happening. But if you don't mind, go to the bottom of the window and go to the diagnostic window. Uh, Delta V, yeah, diagnose okay. is what we're using here. It'll be to the right. Oh, there we go. And, of course, uh, red all over the place, because now, obviously, if this was a full host operating and we unplugged like we did, it would be a pretty hectic time. But I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. You know, and clearly, this system has now gone dead. Uh, however, when we return and, and look at the valve, we'll notice that the uh, valve position is holding at about the 40, 50 percent that it was at. So uh, with the, the host power removed, uh, might note, if uh, you noticed earlier, that the valve was at about 50 percent. And it's holding that position. We, you know, we didn't hear or see the valve go to any kind of failure position at this time uh, because we have it set up with the control in the field that on failure, it's going to keep, it's going to retain its last set point and keep working. We've not heard or seen the valve go up or down. And what I'll do is demonstrate that we are still attempting to control by basically uh, uh, reducing the pressure coming into my flow system. And, and again, we, we see the valve opening as I reduce my input pressure. We see the valve opening trying to maintain the set point. So it's still operating. Now, uh, kind of a, maybe a slight hidden benefit to this thing is, even though I caused a complete host crash here, uh, which would be uh, quite a ugly situation in a lot of, a lot of plants, uh, that in this case, there's many things that have to be done to mitigate this situation right now that the operators would be out taking care of, wanting to take care of, having to take care of. But in this case, as far as the flow system goes, uh, understanding that it is under host ba or under uh, control in the field, field-based control, that basically it's doing its job. It's doing its job. It's trying to maintain, hold its set points where it works. So given that and other circumstances around it, they may not have to really concentrate on this item and they can move to other areas of the plant uh, and, and not have quite so many decisions to try to make in this particular instance. So that's all that works. So the communications are now rebooting. They'll actually take a couple minutes to reboot, uh, but as they do, we, we really won't see any change go on with this flow system. Now there are a couple things that obviously had to take place in the background with this. Uh, one, very critical, was we have to have a link active scheduler uh, in the field to be able to maintain the communications. In this case, we have a link active uh, field backup link active scheduler, if you want to call it that, uh, that is set up in, in a pressure device that's, that was preset for that. And uh, that's one reason this happened. If I did not have that backup link scheduler in the field, then we would have seen a basic complete failure because we would have lost all of our communications. So, uh, and we also have the power obviously being sent to these devices from an external power source, a normal traditional field bus segment, uh, receiving power through a power conditioner and through the device couplers to the devices. And the last thing that we're going to de demonstrate is what happens on uh, failure of, say, the measurement coming into the device. In most cases in a plant, a individual would, operator would have to recognize that and in some cases may have to go and remove the controller from automatic and place it to, to manual. In this case, we'll demonstrate that when we 
when we uh, remove the device, the measurement device from the system, that the valve will automatically shed itself to manual. That is uh, an out of the box feature with field bus, field bus devices and field bus control. Okay, so now let's demonstrate briefly what happens when we, say, lose our process signal. So here's the controller uh, with the, uh, process, uh, the process value on the right side with the yellow bar graph and the uh, valve output, in this case with the uh, this blue bar graph. Uh, so we're holding, we're in automatic, everybody's happy, happy, things are controlling well. And what I'm going to do, uh, we'll do actually a couple things. Number one, go down, uh, go to the diagnostic page. And let's take a look at something here. So on the diagnostic page, if you can, expand port number one on the left side. And go ahead and uh, click on the uh, FT-101. And it's telling us right now that this device is commissioned, it's alive, it's got its address, all the general information about it, so we're confirming that. That's good. Now, if you don't mind, go to the control module. Okay, and again, we have more confirmation that the transmitter, in this case the flow transmitter, is doing its job, putting on a value. So what I'll do is uh, let's go back to the operate window, and I'm going to disconnect the transmitter. Now the error, the fact that the transmitter had disconnected was discovered in the field right away. It may take a second to report it back to the operator, but it's turned into a red background for the value. We have a bad PV alarm taking place now. Uh, of course, in, in diagnosing troubleshooting, we could do things to find out, but you might notice more critically that the auto manual on the left side of the faceplate, the auto up top is the target. That is the demand we're making of it. We want it to go to automatic but it recognizes it can't go to automatic because it does not have a valid input value. And so it, is auto, it has shed this device into a manual mode all by itself. So now while that's up. Now in this case, Chuck, did, yes. when it shed to manual, did it shed to last value? or It, it shed to did... last value of the output. In this case, uh, about 41.7%. The, the and it's holding that value. So uh, we can also go and look at the uh, control module at the bottom Wait. of the page. Right, sorry. The uh, left one. Right. And we can see we have red values coming out of the control module and other diagnostic information that gives us a pretty good clue we've lost our transmitter. And while we're at it, go to diagnose. And here's a very obvious indication where it says state not attached. Uh, this may be done with other hosts, with colors, with icons, with other terminology but it's a very clear indication that the device has either become disconnected or has gone dead. Uh, nice thing to the maintenance people is that it gives them a good uh, idea of what they may have to do as they go to the device in the field and have an idea of some of the tools, equipment, things they might want to take with them to follow this up and, and get it corrected as uh, rapidly as possible. Rather than the other way, which is going to the device, discovering what the problem is, and then going back and getting other parts and pieces, whatever it takes to fix it. So very handy to have this little flag here. So now I'm reconnecting it. We can see it reconnected. It's now recommissioned. If we go back to the operator faceplate, you'll notice uh, that uh, the flag uh, is got a square around it. You can acknowledge it. And you'll see also that it automatically shed back to automatic and took it right back to the original set point. Now, a lot of these items are configurable that we can say, look, on failure, we want it to die. We want it a zero set point or something. But, but this is pretty much out of the box, the way this operates. And again, we also see the trend window now reflecting the fact that this has come back online. And that's it. Very good.